Hello and welcome to PNN, I'm Stuart Brolin. Our top story tonight, George and Kathy Lutz, a recently married couple, have purchased the home at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. The house has stood empty since 1974, when then owner Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed his entire family in cold blood. Here to speak with us about owning a residence with such a colorful past are George and Kathy Lutz. Good evening, Stuart. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Lutz, let me get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why would you purchase a home where you know for a fact that murders once took place? Are you kidding? Have you seen the real estate market lately? Prices are completely out of control. We've been house hunting for like the past five years, and this is the only one that came in the market that was even remotely in our price range. And even as the murder house, there was a bidding war on it. Well, I can certainly understand it from an economic point of view, but doesn't it bother you to live in a home with such a bloody and violent past? Couldn't there be, I don't know, evil trapped within its walls? <laughs> what are you suggesting, Stuart? That our house is haunted? <laughs> well? Stuart, we took precautions. Precautions? Yes. Just before we moved in, we had Father Delaney come and bless the home. Ah, that's sensible. And did Father Delaney encounter anything unusual? Uh, uh, <laughs> well... I mean, it's an old house. So, you know, there's bound to be, lack of a better term, quirks. Such as... Well, he found a room full of flies out of season. He was violently ill for a bit. Yeah, and he got blisters on his palms. Normal stuff. I see. Uh, may we speak with Father Delaney? No, 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 he's resting. Resting. What does that mean? <sighs> okay, fine. He went blind and suffered a complete mental breakdown. But there's nothing connecting those things to this house. Mom, the window in my room smashed down on my hand and crushed it. Not now, sweetie. We're in the middle of an interview. Hey, Dad. My imaginary friend Jody locked me in my bedroom closet and then told me about a small red room in the basement. That's a passage to hell. Oh, that's a cute kiddo. Yeah, not a big problem. I'll be right there in a minute, okay? We're just gonna wrap up. <laughs> George, Kathy, I think you might be in a bit of denial about what's happening in your home right now. Denial? No, I don't think do you think we're in denial? No, not at all. Nope. Mom, the curtains in my room wrapped around my throat while I was in bed and tried to strangle me. Oh, that's just your imagination. These are scarf curtains. They're supposed to be like that. Now, scoop. But now, mister. Hey, Dad, my imaginary friend Jody went through all the rooms upstairs and flipped the crucifixes upside down. That's okay, honey. They still work. They're still crosses. We're just going to be up in a minute, okay? <laughs> um, your walls are bleeding. <laughs> like I said, Stuart, it's an old house. I mean, it tends to sweat when it gets humid out. <laughs> now, listen. We have spent the past 60 months being outbid for every property on Long Island. We went blind with paperwork trying to get a mortgage. It took a month to pack up our shit and another month to get the kids enrolled in their new schools. 
I am tired. I am cranky and I am in no mood for any more of your nonsense. So shut the hell up because we are not going anywhere. So your concern is appreciated, Stuart, but as you can see, everything is fine here. I believe you. Enjoy your new place, you two. And stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network.